just watched a video because these are popping up all over the place about um, what happened with Will Smith. And I just had this Christian channel talking about how wrong it was and how it was not honorable for um, for Will Smith to slap Chris Rock with that inappropriate and demeaning and and vulgar comment that he made towards Jada Pinkett, right? He's trying to um he's trying to demean her, um break her down and everything. I want to show this Christian what honorable means because there's an actual definition and I don't care how you slice it concerning uh, Christianity, but being honorable, sometimes you have to take the lead and sometimes it does take a force in order to um, present itself as being honorable or bring about, bringing about honor. Okay. Where's my glasses? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me first do this. And let me read the definition. Bringing or worthy of honor. This is the, uh, the only honorable course. Second definition. Use as a title indicating eminence or distinction. Giving especially to judges and certain high officials. The Honorable Richard Morris dot dot dot. And that's an example. However, let's go back to judges, certain high officials. Okay, here we go. If a Christian claims that the husband is above his wife in power, right? Because that's what they, that's what they preach. They preach that she, that he has jurisdiction um, over her. That's what every Christian preaches. Is he trying to say that the judgment that Will Smith presented at Chris Rock was not honorable? Clearly, me and this Christian have two different definitions of what is honorable. If Will Smith truly has jurisdiction, right, high eminence over his wife, and I, I've never heard uh, heard uh, Will Smith say anything about he was a Christian. I'm just going by what this Christian is saying. In in that case, if if he truly does have jurisdiction over his wife and protection over his wife, then what he did was most definitely honorable. Don't mince words. 